Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be your general energy reading for Tuesday, March 10th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the 20th, I'm sorry, the 10th, <laughs> the 10th of March, that doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So I tried to go live this morning, it didn't work so well. The connection is a bit choppy today, so I decided instead of skipping the reading, I'm just gonna record it and I'm uploaded it for, I've uploaded it for you guys. So that's why it's out a bit later than, is expected or that is ideal but better late than never i'd say right okay excellent so i hope you guys had a good day yesterday yesterday was the full moon um and i know for me it was a very emotional day very emotional day um and to so much so that i had to actually like take the whole day to myself to just heal and feel through what i was feeling um, there were a lot of fears coming up. There was a lot of insecurity coming up, a lot of feelings of unworthiness, sadness, depression, um, and just a lot of bur purging. I even had, um, I had a nightmare last night, which I haven't had a, like, a nightmare in, a longest, in the longest, longest time, but it was definitely fear-based. It was from a fear-based reality. Um, I remember waking up in the middle of the night and just being consumed by a lot of fear about what's to come in my journey moving forward and so then when I fell back asleep that was expressed in a dream um, but then that dream I noticed it was uh, kind of a psychic attack because there were entities coming towards me that were um, trying to convince me of something that wasn't really true at all. It was trying to like scare me away from the path that I've chosen to take moving forward. So um, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad I was able to recognize that in retrospect, but you know, that, that, that's part of this purging, this cleansing, this clearing, this healing aspect that's, that we're dealing with right now with this full moon. And now, now yesterday was the actual full moon um, and we're moving into the waning moon period where you know, we can continue to release things and let things go and, and all that good stuff. So um, that's, that's pretty exciting. So I would recommend that you use this next week or so um, to really let go of some toxic elements of your life, you know, if you're, if you're ready to do so, yeah? So with that said, let's get to the reading here, yeah? Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Tuesday, March 10th, 2020. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, guys, I want to start with the secret language of light today. And then um, I want to, I'm probably going to move to the, uh, what is it? The activations card, but I want to start here. Give this one last shuffle for the collective here. So what's going on? What messages? Woo! Uh, let me try that again. One last shuffle. What messages do we have for the collective today? Post full moon, you could say. There is only light. Okay, okay. Uh, well, yeah, we'll stop here. Overall energy is card number 11, remembrance. And I am getting that for some of you, part of the purging or part of the releasing that's happening for you right now is in service of you remembering who you are or what it is you came here to do, okay? You have card number 30, which is the first card out. There is only light. So remember that when, especially if you're going through a period of challenges, of darkness, of um, entities trying to 
trying to stop you, combat you, okay? We have channeling. We have you are the universe and you have an inner voice. So for many of us, our higher selves are really trying to communicate with us right now. Um, so especially between channeling and inner voice, excuse me, you have an express opportunity right now to really connect with your higher self and get the downloads or get the information that you really need, okay? Remember that you are the universe, so anything really truly is possible. Don't allow anything or anyone, any sort of entity to come forward and try and knock you off your path. Don't let any sort of entity come forward and try to forget you to, rem to forget who you are. Remember who you are, okay? Allow your inner voice to speak to you today, throughout this week, especially, but really allow yourself to, your inner voice to speak to you and help to kind of remind you of who you are. Yes, there are definitely some messages that want to come through for you in, in, in encouragement of your goals, your dreams, your desires, whatever path you have set out on or you are setting out on. I wanna move forward now and go into the activation cards here and see what is what is a lot what is being activated here for us post full moon as we're releasing what is it that we're moving towards i'm hearing harmony okay that's nice <laughs> that's nice one last shuffle okay let's see Activations for us. Discern, well, well, isn't that just kind of perfect? Discernment is the first card out. Overall energy is perception. The frequency of perception supports our natural curiosity, moving us beyond our comfort zone to find the edges of what we perceive as real and to take a good, hard, deep look at it. All right? So yeah, I do, I really do feel like psychic attacks are kind of on the rise right now and i do believe that's something that I, f I remember that's something that came through in the twin flame reading that i just did okay but you have card number 20 discernment the frequency of discernment supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner balance and detachment yet with compassion and wisdom and then we also have card number 44, universal love. The frequency of universal love activates the connection we feel with each other to our planet and to the whole of existence ourselves. But this right here feels like it's falling right in line with there is only light, okay? Do not let the darkness try and derail you, all right? Remember who you are. Remember the powerful being that you are. Remember that you are, in fact, the universe. You have the power of the universe at your disposal, at your fingertips. Allow your inner voice to channel through you and speak to you and guide you in ways that are necessary for you right now, okay? Okay. This is good so far, and it's, quite, and it's funny because this is kind of falling right in line with, you know, this is kind of resonating with me right now. Like I, like I mentioned, um, I had this dream, this nightmare <laughs> last night in which there was some being, there were some beings, there were some entities that were trying to really derail me and, and, and push me off my path and, and whatnot. And so, you know, this is really, this is really quite perfect here. Okay, so what I want to do next is I want to get into the energy oracle cards and I just want to see a little bit. I want to get into a little bit of a storyline for us here. All right, so for the collective today, for March 10th, 2020. One last shuffle here. Okay, so what's going on with the collective here? What messages do we have? What can we discuss specifically for the collective right now? March 10th, 2020. Woo! Okay. Yeah, look. All right. Um, overall energy is journey. That was a lot of cards. And I don't even remember how many of them there were. But that's okay. We'll, we'll go back to it later. We have the overall energy is journey. All right. So we are absolutely on a journey here. Okay. 
um, a journey of remembrance, a journey of our soul, a journey of healing and positivity and, and all that good stuff. But then we have anxiety and rest and rejuvi reju rejuvenation. So over this next period, I mean, Mercury did go start stationing direct yesterday. However, we still have the shadow period and spirit just did mention the shadow period to me. So um, they are definitely trying to remind us that we are still kind of in this shadow period. Going direct isn't exactly, um, isn't full right now, all right? But if you're feeling any sort of anxiety, you need to rest and rejuvenate. Oh, look at that, that's card 18 and 19. That's kind of awesome. Um, but if you're feeling any sort of anxiety or if you, or you could at this point in time right now, you could be very prone to feeling anxious and all that. And it is, it is highly suggested that you take the time that you need to rest and rejuvenate. Like yesterday, I had planned on doing, I have some personal readings to do. I want to finish the cusp readings for March for the cuspers. Um, and I couldn't get anything past morning coffee done because I wasn't feeling in the right energetic space to do so. There was a lot of emotional upheaval for me that I was dealing with, and I didn't think it was a good idea to try and do readings for people when I'm going through so much emotional unrest myself, right? So take the opportunities when you can to rest and rejuvenate so that you can deal with this anxiety. Please excuse the sniffling. My allergies are acting up this morning. But anyway, all right, so I want to get a little bit more here. Let's see. All right, because we are on a journey for sure. All right, I want to look at anxiety a little bit more. Let's get a little bit more on it. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, wow. Okay, we have thinking woman and woman holding a coin. Okay, and patience. So for some of us here, all right, this could be the temperance card. You could see this as like a, a similar energy to temperance. But for some of us here, you know, a lot of this anxiety could have to do with a changing environment, a changing uh, career, shifts within your career, shifts within your work. Um, uh, I'm getting specifically how you do your work, how you perform your work, um, what line of work that you're in even for some of us, for some of us, okay. Uh, for others of us, this could just be financial problems, financial issues. Um, we're talking women here or feminine energy. Um, with these cards, the energy oracle cards, I do kind of keep it more towards the gender just because there is, I just, I don't know, naturally I feel like with this deck, even though we could say, you know, this could be your inner feminine, but I don't, for this deck, I just feel more inclined to speak to gender than to energy. Well, then when we get into the tarot, then it's definitely more energy. But um, now with that said, I am picking up that for some of you, this is just your inner feminine. If you're a masculine individual, this is your inner feminine that's coming through, that's helping you to rethink or reshape your life okay but also what i'm the strongest thing i'm getting here is that there are women out here that are reshaping their lives thinking about how to reshape their lives and for some of you it really could be an energy of you know you're go you've gone through this awakening and you 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 see things much differently now and now you really have to change how you do your work because the old way that you work was not or does not resonate with you any longer. And that could have everything to do with this remembrance here, remembering who you are and what it is you came for and what it is you really truly want to be doing, breaking free from the matrix even. Now keep in mind though, you need to be patient with this process, okay? Because it's not going to happen overnight. Even if you get that idea that you know which direction that you want to move into, you're still going to have to have patience with yourself because, you know, matter moves slower than energy does, right? It's not going to happen all at once. Hold on just a moment, guys. Uh, 
uh, I just blew my, I had to blow my nose. Hopefully, I turned the mic off, but then I, reckon, I remember maybe it still picked that up. And if it still picked it up, I apologize. <laughs> but I had to blow my nose. So here we go. They're much better. Um, I want to move to the tarot here, and I want to look a little deeper into this energy. Thinking woman and woman holding a coin on top of anxiety. This really is a time, if you're feeling super anxious about all of this, there really is, this really is a time for you to stop overthinking, to stop, I mean, this, um, to, to stop worrying about it. This anxiety here can very much give you, give us an energy of like the nine of swords. You're really encouraged to rest, rejuvenate, meditate as much as you possibly can right now so that you can have the stability and the discernment that you need to really help you get through whatever this period is for you, okay? Last shuffle. Okay. So let's see. What is the thinking woman and the woman holding a coin here? Let's go a little bit deeper for us. A little deeper. Five of Wands. Yeah, okay. That makes a lot of sense. With the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck, that's interesting. So, all right. So even though I was saying at first that, you know, this was, we were talking about women here, um, but this really could just be your feminine, your inner feminine energy that's coming through um, and is coming and is rising. Okay. And it could, then it's creating a bunch, a bunch of inner conflict because there is a new path, a new journey that you're wanting to go on. You're wanting to take, or maybe you're feeling, I feel like you're being um, pulled toward, toward it, called toward it. Um, and the, the masculine and feminine within you could little could quite honestly be a bit at odds with each other because of it. But this also could be a partner that you're at odds with uh, externally if you are in fact in a relationship. Okay, um, let's see. Let's t uh, tell us a little bit more about this Five of Wands here, please. Why is this Five of Wands here? Wands, five of wands, this inner conflict, external conflict. I just get a feeling, uh, yeah, look at that, king of swords, okay. <laughs> the two of cups is still at the bottom of the deck. Um, you know, there's a push and pull here. I feel like some of you may want to go in one direction while others of you, while like, maybe your inner sense of discernment is saying, I don't know if I can do that. Uh, or there's someone external to you that's saying, are you sure you really want to do that? Is that really the right thing to do? But with, and I kind of feel like if you do have some sort of external partner or individual or group of people even that are kind of getting in your space saying, I don't know, is this really the right thing for you to do, but not whatever. Um, this King of Swords energy here could represent that. I do feel that. I feel like a little bit this King of Swords energy is a little bit of, is a little bit reversed in most cases or in some cases. But for the most part, this King of Swords is coming through saying, look, I need, uh, basically what I'm hearing is I need to do what is right for me. I know I need to go in the direction that my soul, my soul is calling me towards. Therefore, you can keep your conflict to yourself. And it's not even a, a situation where you're trying to fight, you're trying to be mean, you're trying to be nasty, you're trying to be vindictive. It's literally quite matter of fact. And the, the good thing about this is it's not the Queen of Swords, it's the King of Swords. The King of Swords is objective. The King of Swords is diplomatic. The King of Swords will hear you out. But, all, it, but he will hear you out even if or when he's already made his decision, right? Okay, I want to pull a little bit more here because let's see if there, what kind of resolution could come. Is there a resolution? I mean, the King of Swords is an energy that does kind of like, you know, make decisions. Ah, look at that. The Wheel of Fortune with the Page of Pentacles. Yep, something new is on the horizon. So what you need to do is use this discernment energy around you to your highest good, Okay. Because ultimately, the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. That's what I'm hearing. You have to make a decision for yourself. You cannot let this conflict 
or this differing of opinion to stop you from taking a new journey. Oh my gosh, look at that. Underneath the page of pentacles is the lovers. Now the lovers does represent a romantic relationship in most cases, but also the lovers represents a choice, ultimately, a choice between vice or virtue. Vice being the, the wishes and desires of everyone else, virtue being the wishes and desires of your own self. And yeah, you making this choice is probably going to create some sorrow. There's probably going to be regret, remorse for other people whom you may be leaving behind. Okay, there's a sp with this three cup, these three spilled cups here, there is a spillage of past circumstances. I'm getting social circles, maybe even relationships, romantic relationships, friendships. But ultimately, you still have these two cups that are standing. And the two of cups was underneath at the bottom of the deck for, the longest, for, 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 uh, for a little bit between the five, when the five of wands came out and when the king of swords came out. So in that case, that king of, or the, the, the two of cups energy can represent the, the union, the balance of masculine and feminine within you, the relationship that you have with yourself. And then ultimately, you have a completion, the world, <laughs> with the hanged man and the tower <laughs> and the six of pentacles. Yeah, for a lot of you, whatever this decision that you're making to go in a different direction, to, to take your life somewhere else, to do something new with your life, thinking woman, woman holding a coin, um, a new material change, a new chapter in your life. This woman holding a coin doesn't necessarily have to mean finances and money. It, it, it can represent a new physical reality, just reshaping your physical reality because coins are physical, are physically represented by the physical, right? Or excuse me, represent the physical, okay? Um, some of you are making this decision because of a lack of reciprocity in whatever, whatever it is that you're leaving behind. The hanged man, the tower, and the six of pentacles. Okay, you've reached some sort of change in perspective here um, that is allowing you to close out a cycle for yourself. And it's, a, it's probably a big, massive change, probably. And it may, and for some of you, I am getting that it could be something very small, something very subtle, and yet it's creating um, even bigger lifelong change for you. For some of you, you're literally cutting out a relationship or a person that you've been bonded to, connected to for, the, for a long, long time. Mm-hmm. So with all of that said, patience and rest and rejuvenation are your best friends right now, okay? Okay, um, I wanna get Oracle guidance. I wanna start getting Oracle guidance to close out the reading from the Oracle of the Angels. And then I think we're gonna go with the Earth Warriors Oracle today. Yep, that sounds like a good idea. Now, I do wanna point out that yes, I did, I was saying, you know, that this is mainly feminine, or this may be woman, women here. Um, I, I, I do kind of feel like I should keep it, I guess I should take that back, what I was saying earlier about, um, you know, using this deck as true masculine, uh, men and women, like gender. It really doesn't have to be gender, especially since this is a, 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 a general reading. So just take it as it resonates, because now that I'm really thinking about this, I really do feel like, you know, there are some more femininely oriented individuals that are men that actually this could really resonate for. So take it as it resonates for you guys, all right? And don't worry about it. Okay, one last shuffle here. And let's see. What does the Oracle of the Angels have to say for us in terms of this situation? Strength. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes, this is perfect. All right, cool. Inner calling. Look at that. Inner calling. All right, so you're definitely being called towards something. And that is what we started the reading with, with 
remembrance, inner voice, channeling, you are the universe. What is this one here? And there is only light, okay? You have infinite potential, all right? And you, the angels are here to help you provide you, help provide you with the strength that you need to continue moving towards the light, all right? So don't let anyone stop you. Don't let anyone tell you that the choice that you're making isn't right for you, is crazy, is out of the, or well, maybe it is out of the ordinary, but who cares? If it's what you're being called towards, if it's what your soul is calling you towards, if it's what this remembrance that's coming through for you here is awakening within you or is allowing you to perceive perception, then by all means, continue to move towards the light, okay? Do what is best for you. Do what is, do what is, is, do what is being, what you are being divinely guided towards. Because it's your path, it's your journey, it's your life. You have to continue to do what is right for you. Alrighty. Let's close this out with a message from the Earth Warriors. All right. Closing message here for the collective, for this collective reading for today. Give this one last shuffle and we'll see what we've got. Here we go. Closing message, please, Spirit, for the collective for today's reading. Just one card, please, Spirit. Just one card. Closing message for today, please. Just one card for today, please, Spirit. Closing message. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to take this one. And we have Shakana, card number 19. Time to cross the threshold. A threshold appears, bringing an ending so complete that it is no longer possible to return to what has been. The light of the stars is your faithful guide into this new world. As you trust in your divine connection, deconstructed forms shall reshape themselves into relevant, helpful, and beautiful new ways of living, thriving, and expressing your true self. Trust in your strangest ideas, in that which is different, inspired or unconventional. This crossing is healing and furthers the activation of your divine potential. In a reading, this card says, change is afoot. You, will feel in, you won't feel control, in control in, of the process. Let me say that again. Change is afoot. You won't feel in control of the process. Trust in what is new, different, or exciting to you. Don't assume that unless all things happen easily, then, it must, then you must be on the wrong path. You are on the correct path, even if the birthing pains to fulfill it are challenging. You are guided to reject societal norms and about, about how you are supposed to live or what sort of things you are supposed to value. Instead, trust your own values and believe in the truths that you feel within your own heart. In time, the world will be ready to recognize and benefit from your spiritual growth. The universe is helping you in all ways, including through correct timing. At the right moment, you will leave the past behind you and enter into the fullness of the present moment, opening up to the brightness of your future. Wow. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, if you would like a look into what's going on with your personal situation, I am still here in Puerto Rico taking up 
taking in and up and all of that, all the good, good juju and energy here. I love it here. I'll be here until next Wednesday. So if you want to get a, a, a reading while I'm here, please don't hesitate to email me. Other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Y'all, take care. Mwah. Bye.